Celebrities with zero haters versus most hated celebs. Usually, when celebs get hated on, it's for some big scandal or serious crime. But Ellen's case? She's just been kinda rude for ages. Like people put up with her nonsense on The Ellen DeGeneres Show for years. But things got messy in 2020. That's when all these stories came out about how toxic and racially insensitive the work environment was, including claims of Ellen being racially insensitive and yelling at employees off camera. Moreover, Ellen's on-camera actions didn't help. On air, Ellen could be pretty mean too. Like, remember that Dakota Johnson interview in 2019? Ellen started teasing Dakota, saying she didn't get an invite to her birthday bash. Dakota fires back, saying, I did invite you and you didn't come. Ask everybody. And, and then there's the Mariah Carey disaster of 2008. Mariah's dealing with pregnancy rumors and Ellen, being Ellen, decides to confront her about it on the show. Mariah's like, I'd rather not talk about it. But Ellen won't let it go. She even offers her champagne on live TV, basically forcing Mariah to spill the beans. Not cool at all, especially considering Mariah later miscarried. Ellen's comments during the pandemic likening lockdown to prison while she was chilling in her mansion only fueled criticism. No wonder people are giving Ellen the side eye. While the storm clouds of controversy gather around Ellen, finding a reason to dislike Terry Crews would be like searching for a needle in a haystack. His facial expressions are a riot. Take, for instance, his signature jump at every red carpet event. It's become a meme in its own right. But there's another meme floating around about Terry that takes the cake. This 19-year-old dude named Daniel blew up online because he pulled off this epic money-saving trick, all thanks to Julius from Everybody Hates Chris. I carry a photo of Terry Crews in my wallet so I can see it when I am about to waste my money on things I don't need, LOL. Terry Crews himself caught wind of Daniel's viral tweet and got inspired by Julius, too. Terry even dropped an Instagram post with a pic of himself in his wallet saying, I keep this pic of myself in my wallet so I can see it when I'm about to waste money on things I don't need, LOL. Yet, Terry Crews isn't just a funny face. He's also remarkably disciplined. In a Reddit Ask Me Anything AMA session, he revealed his grueling workout routine, clocking almost two hours a day. It's no wonder he sculpted such an impressive physique, landing him iconic roles like Cheeseburger Eddie and Latrell Spencer from White Chicks. Moreover, Terry Crews has upheld his marriage for nearly 35 years, a testament to his likability and commitment. In stark contrast, Elon Musk's interactions with women, whether within the confines of his marriage or outside it, have been marred by controversy and scandal. From allegations of affairs to fathering twins with an employee while in another relationship, Elon's personal life has become as tumultuous as his business ventures. Elon's knack for birthing multi-billion dollar innovations is undeniable. Yet his penchant for ruffling feathers with his controversial tweets and interviews often leaves people scratching their heads. His skepticism toward recent medical treatments during a well-known pandemic has drawn widespread criticism. Even his public appearances, like the one at Dave Chappelle's show, have been met with jeers rather than cheers. But perhaps the most disconcerting aspect is his response to his daughter's transition. Instead of embracing her decision, Elon dismissed it as educational propaganda, further tarnishing his public image and straining their relationship. While the spotlight often casts shadows on Elon Musk, Bob Ross shined brightly, their paths paved with the unwavering support of their devoted fans. When you think about Bob Ross, you might first recall his famous TV series, The Joy of Painting. The soothing tone of his voice as he painted serene landscapes was unforgettable. Surprisingly, he didn't charge for the series. Familiar phrases like, happy little trees and, you can do it along with his comforting notion of, 
we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents, became staples during his broadcasts. These expressions inspired countless individuals and found their way onto clothing, cookbooks, and various merchandise. Despite battling cancer and declining health, he continued to produce the show without disclosing his illness to his loyal fan base. Furthermore, Bob largely refrained from selling his paintings. With such a warm and genuine personality, it's no surprise that Bob Ross has no haters, though Jada Smith finds herself with numerous detractors. Flashback to the 90s when Jada was making waves in movies and fashion, rubbing shoulders with Tupac and eventually tying the knot with Will on a starry December night in 1997. Their union seemed rock solid, with Jada swearing she'd sacrifice her career before letting anything break them apart. But in 2013, Jada starts releasing shocking details about their open marriage, which sparks speculation and raises questions. Then came August Alsina, spilling the beans about his affair with Jada. Despite denials, the truth surfaced, leaving Will to admit their marriage wasn't your conventional love story. But wait, there's more. Jada's mistreatment of Will, like criticizing a birthday party he spent three years planning and admitting to cheating, has made her even more unpopular. In stark contrast to Jada's actions, Fred Rogers' lack of cynicism is easily understood. He was genuinely lovable, with a demeanor so kind, calm, and caring that even when his car was stolen, the thieves returned it to the exact spot after two days, accompanied by a note saying, Sorry, we didn't know it was yours. Rogers set an example by his actions. His efforts for the greater good didn't involve protesting or rallying against injustices. Instead, he integrated black actors into his program, demonstrating kindness beyond the screen. Each day, Rogers made it a priority to personally respond to his fan mail, ensuring that every letter, numbering around 50 to 100 per day, received his attention. Heather Arnett, an assistant on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, shared with the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. He respected the kids who wrote. He never thought about throwing out a drawing or letter. They were sacred. He stands as proof that kindness can indeed prevail over evil. But what about Meghan Markle? Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, embarked on a remarkable journey from TV stardom in Suits to royalty upon marrying Prince Harry in 2018. This transition catapulted her into a realm of unparalleled media scrutiny compared to her days as an actress. Meghan's unconventional background, coupled with her racial heritage, sparked debates and controversies within the British royal family and beyond. Meghan chose to withdraw from her royal responsibilities in January 2020 due to various reasons and has since maintained a lower public presence. Critics have labeled her a hypocrite for advocating environmental causes while frequently traveling by private jet and for criticizing the royals while benefiting from their fame and wealth. Additionally, she has been portrayed as a privileged individual who portrays herself as a victim, with reports emerging of her mistreatment of royal household staff during her time living there. While Meghan's public image has been subject to scrutiny and criticism for her actions and decisions within the royal family, Tom Hanks is one of those uncommon creatures, a celebrity about whom no one seems to have anything negative to say. Not only is he charming to everyone on set, but he also seems to have a pleasant and fun demeanor that makes him likable to everyone he meets outside of the entertainment industry. On Twitter, you can find tweets chronicling interactions with this legend. Once, in 2008, when Tom Hanks was shooting Angels and Demons in Rome by the Pantheon, a bride and her father couldn't approach the chapel because of the hullabaloo, so Hanks stopped filming to escort them to the altar. A number of years ago, I left my iPhone unattended in the same room as Tom Hanks. The next day, I found this photo in my camera roll. To be clear, I've never met him, but I do believe he is exactly who we hope he is, and I don't want to know if I'm wrong. 
Even though he was exposed for acting inappropriately on movie sets, Tom Hanks was the only one who first revealed this to the public. The two-time Oscar winner said, I've had tough days trying to be a professional when my life has been falling apart in more ways than one. And the requirement for me that day is to be funny, charming, and loving, and it's the last way I feel. While Tom Hanks is celebrated for his charm and positive reputation both on and off the screen, Amber Heard has faced controversies and public scrutiny surrounding her personal and professional life. Amber Heard's courtroom saga stands as a unique twist in the annals of celebrity controversies. Unlike most, she found herself on the offensive, accusing her ex-husband Johnny Depp of misconduct. The legal battle, however, ended up tarnishing both their reputations. Yet it wasn't just the legal repercussions that dealt the blow. It was the absurd theatrics that unfolded during the trial. Who could forget Heard's lawyer sparring with a witness, proclaiming, I'm not seeking any 15-minute chair? The courtroom antics became a spectacle in their own right. Adding fuel to the fire were revelations about the toxic dynamics between Heard and Depp. Amidst leaked anecdotes, one particularly shocking story emerged an alleged incident where Heard purportedly defecated in their bed during a heated argument. It was a stock reminder of the tumultuous nature of their relationship. As the media frenzy intensified, Amber found herself squarely in the eye of the storm. Public opinion turned against here, painting her as the villain in the narrative. Eventually, the strain became too much, leading to the couple's divorce in May of 2016. Amidst the chaos of legal battles and tabloid headlines, Amber Heard's reputation took a significant hit, forever altering the trajectory of her career and personal life. Whereas Amber Heard's public image has been clouded by controversies, Keanu Reeves is revered for his philanthropic endeavors and humble persona. Seriously, the guy's got zero haters. Why? Because he's got that likable vibe down pat. Known for his down-to-earth demeanor, Keanu stands out as one of the most approachable figures in Hollywood. Whether he's riding the subway or sitting on a park bench, he exudes an air of humility. In a touching moment from 1997, Keanu was spotted sharing drinks and stories with a homeless individual, displaying genuine interest in the man's experiences. His Reddit presence speaks volumes, as he surpassed even Barack Obama to host the most upvoted AMA of all time. It's like a love fest that never ends. And that's a wrap for us. Tell us in the comment section, among the celebrities discussed whose public image surprised you the most, and don't forget to subscribe.